Hey, what's going on, my YouTube family? It's your boy ZS go back with another video, man. I'm on grind mode, bro. I got a call this morning, and it kind of pissed me off. So I'm on grind mode to the fullest, my nigga. In this episode, we're going to talk about Styles P. Now, he had a recent interview with Vlad TV where he talked about Drake, and he basically said he doesn't think that Drake is in the same league as rappers like Kendrick Lamar and J. Cole because of his alleged use of ghostwriters. Now, before you start thinking that he's dissing them or whatever, Nah, he's not. He said he likes Drake as an artist. He actually thinks he's a dope entertainer, which I agree. But Styles P said before he found out about Drake's alleged use of ghostwriters, he was like, okay, it's Drake, Kendrick, and Cole in the battle for the top rapper right now. Once he got a writer... He's not in the battle with Cole or Kendrick in his eyes no more. He's now with Swiss, Diddy, and Kanye. And there's nothing wrong with that. He said if that's what you do, that's what you do. But in his opinion, you know what I'm saying, being the MC, you can't put yourself at the top if you have a ghostwriter. It's just like MC Light said. Uh, Locks brought this up in the interview. They all said um, years ago, MC Light said, whoever writes your rhymes might as well hold your microphone. And it's true because what you spitting really came out of another person's mouth. You feel me? So so as far as you putting yourself in the conversation to be the best rapper, you know what I'm saying? You can't do that because if you have somebody writing your shit, there's no way. You know what I'm saying? You're not a real MC. But if we talking numbers, statistics, and just having a whole bunch of hit songs, hell yeah, Drake got it. It be crazy to me when I hear people hate on Drake because the man is successful as a motherfucker. But you know when you have so much success, it come with hate. That's just the way it is. But you'll never hear me say I'm not a Drake fan. Like, I don't give a fuck what people think. Come on now. You honestly think I'm going to say, oh, oh, I'm not a Drake fan just because somebody might say some dumb shit? Like, bro, it is what it is. I listen to them, so get over it. If you don't like them, don't play them. Simple as that. If you don't like them, don't look at videos about them. Simple as that. But I ain't going to lie, though. When it came to all that ghostwriting shit, I thought it was lame as hell on both parts. I think Drake should have been straight up and said he don't write all his shit. You know, keep it 100. But at the same time, who really going to come out and say, hey, man, I got ghostwriters. Niggas trying to protect their credit. Niggas don't want no dirt on their name for real for real and then with quentin miller it's like come on bro you a ghostwriter keyword ghost nigga why all y'all ghostwriters want to come out the box now like nigga if you making money on the low just by writing somebody shit shut the fuck up why the hell you gonna open your mouth now you done lost your job like if i write for a nigga i'm not gonna say shit you ain't gonna hear a dime nigga long as you paying me i'm good like bro really thought he was gonna expose drake people were gonna stop fucking with him and start fucking with quentin like come on bro we really don't give a fuck about you we gonna make jokes about Drake and then keep it pushing. Nigga, don't nobody want to hear your shit. I can almost guarantee if him and Drake made the same song, put it out, Drake would sell way more records than this nigga. Even though he wrote the shit. That's sad as hell, but it's the truth. So even though he had his little 15 minutes of fame, it's like, for what? Nigga, ain't nobody checking for no Quentin Miller song. Ain't nobody trying to see where this nigga at. So at the end of the day, if you ask me, is Drake in the top five of MCs right now? No. In my honest opinion, no. If you don't write all your shit, hell nah. Now, if you ask me, is Drake one of the top entertainers of this generation? Is he one of the top artists as far as statistics and numbers and all that? Hell fucking yeah. Like I said, yeah. I mean, damn though. Can you even say it's a top five MCs? Because most of these dudes out now sound like some shit. But let me know what y'all think, man. Do you think Drake is a top MC right now? Or do you think he's just a better entertainer? And as always, man, thank y'all for watching. Hope y'all enjoy it make sure you smash that like button for your boy if you're new to the channel subscribe and make sure you click that bell to be notified when i upload and oh yeah i'm gonna be starting up the gaming channel today so if you're interested in that i'm gonna uh, put it out later on and let y'all know about that but hey i'll catch y'all on the next episode